Hey guys, Swing University golf instructor Josh Kelly here. And today I want to talk to you about marking your balls when you're on the putting surface. Now we need to make sure we mark our ball every time we're on the putting surface because if our playing partner is hitting their putt and it makes contact with our ball, then they're going to suffer a two stroke penalty. Also, even if our ball is not in their line or in their way at all, when they address their ball, they may see it out of the corner of their eye and it's just poor etiquette if we do not mark our ball. Also, when we mark our ball, it gives us an opportunity to give it nice and clean, get that dirt off it, and make sure it rolls nice and true for us. Now, the first step is to make sure our ball is on the green. If it's not on the green, we obviously cannot mark it. Now, my ball here is half on the green and half of it is resting up against the collar. By rule, if any part of the golf ball is on the green, then the golf ball is on the putting surface and we're eligible to mark it. Now, the first step to marking our ball is to make sure we have a coin or any flat object. I have a custom ball mark here. And what we're able to do is place this ball mark anywhere around the ball. But I just suggest that we mark it consistently. So if you're a guy who likes to mark it behind the ball, then consistently mark it behind. If you like to mark it in front, just consistently mark it in front. So we're gonna do, I like to mark it behind the ball. I'm gonna mark it, pick it up, and then when I'm ready to putt, I'm gonna put the ball in front of the mark and pick my mark up. Now, if you're a guy who likes to mark it up front, mark it up front, pick it up, then put your ball behind it and pick your ball mark up. Now, if your ball mark is in the way of your playing partner's line and they ask you, hey, can you move it one to the right or one to the left? That just means move it one club head to the right or one club head to the left. So if they ask me to move it one to the right, what I'm gonna do is put my putter head down Pick out an object in the distance, maybe a tree, anything that's not gonna move, and go ahead and move my mark over. Let them hit their ball, and we just have to remember to move our mark back before we hit our putt. Because if we put our ball down and hit our putt without moving it back, then we're gonna suffer a two-stroke penalty. So we're gonna do the exact opposite, put the putter here, line it up with our object in the distance, put the mark back, and then go ahead and hit our putt. Now the one question I get all the time is, hey Josh, what happens if I go to mark my ball and I mistakenly move it by accident? Is that a penalty? Well, it's not. We just simply move our ball back to where it was and remarked. If I were to get clumsy and maybe kick the ball before I mark it, or maybe I drop my mark and it hits the ball and move it, well, then it's gonna be a penalty. So remember guys, if you're on the green, make sure you mark your ball. It's gonna give you an opportunity to make sure it's nice and clean. It's also gonna be great etiquette and it's gonna eliminate any unnecessary penalty strokes.